All right, look at this big ass big ball, man. Oh yeah. I like it a lot. Oh, I'm stuffed, bro. How do I look? Do I look like I'm glowing? Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. My name is Sydney Fitboy and we are back in Burwood to check out one of my favorite multi cheat meals and it is called Malatang. Pretty much like a Chinese DIY hot pot type of noodle soup. Today I'm going to check out my favorite and then your favorite. So I put up a questionnaire on Instagram the other day asking people what their favorite was. We're going to try two of the best Malatang in Sydney. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, we'll join us on weekly food adventures. Let's go eat baby. Tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my silence. To me, when you think about Burwood, it's mostly this Burwood Road, the main strip, where you find 90% of what's happening. And the Malatang spots that we're going to today, they're both on this strip, so they're very easy to get to. All right, so we're at our first location, it is called Tang King Malatang. This one is the one that's been strongly recommended by you guys. I asked a lot of people where their favorite Malatang spot was. This is the spot that you guys recommended a lot, so let's go check this out. I'm very excited to see how this one stacks up. All right, so you pretty much grab a bowl like this. I always don't know what to pick here. Anything with the potato noodles is really good, normally. Whoa, what is this? It's a fat one, bro. I haven't seen this one before. Grab a few of that and grab some of this one. These thick potato noodles are so delicious and chewy, man, when you when you get them. Grab some... What are these called again? Something... Oh, the hell? I have a mind blank right now. Bro, what's it called? I lost it. Uh, I love me tripe, bro. Tripe number one. Tripe number one. This is the number one vegetable, bro. I put this every single time. Yo, where's my fish robot? Well, all right, everything good is over there. <laughs> We're gonna get a fish roe ball and then a beef tenon ball. This is the good shit, baby. Oh, sorry, I can't swear. This is the good stuff, baby. You got marinated beef. Might get a little bit of that. Oh, mushrooms, mushrooms. Uh, one of these. I feel like I've gotten enough. So you gotta get a couple of these rolls here, right? Oh yeah. So this is what we got. We're being mindful that you know we're gonna have another malatang after this, so I'm not getting too much. But hopefully this passes over the line. Hello. Need need more? All right, I'll get more, I'll get one. Sorry, I was being... What do I get now? Noodles, I'll get noodles. Oh, what is this? All right, I'll get one. Now now should be okay, I think. Which one is the normal one? Number one. Number one? Best seller? Okay, I'll get that one. <laughs> okay, well this is a lot cheaper than I expected it to be. This cost less than 14 bucks, so that's pretty cheap. We got the soup base, which was called the Chef's Chili. Yeah, I'm expecting this to be very, very flavorful. And then they asked us whether or not we wanted to chuck anything in at the end. And we put a bit of peanut sauce, a bit of chili oil here. But yeah, man, look at this beautiful thing right here. Mix it all up. Oh, mm, I'm so hungry, dude. First of all, gotta try the broth, dude. Really nice, really warming. The beautiful thing about Malatang is whatever ingredients you choose, it takes up all of that flavor from the soup, man. It's so good. Try this uh, mushrooms. Mm. Really good. It's quite spicy, actually. I'm feeling it in my throat. I love these, man. They're so nice and chewy. Mm. The reason I love sweet potato noodles is because the texture has that nice little bit of chew, but it's still soft. And I feel like out of all the noodles you can get, this one takes up the most flavor from the soup broth itself. You got the lamb or beef? I need some sauce, bro. That's probably the one thing I would say about this place. There's a little sauce station. Oh man, people. As you saw, I only got two different balls. I used to get a lot more different balls, but out of all the balls that I like, I'll probably say the beef ball. <laughs> it's not laughing, dude. Uh, you got the beef ball and the fish fry ball. Out of all the balls, these two are the best balls. You know what I mean? Love it, man. Brian has a dirty mind. Get your mind out of the gutter, bro. Oh, here we go. This is the, the marinated beef. That's nice. I'm surprised the, the, the beef keeps its flavor as it's cooking in, you know? But yeah, I agree though. I reckon the soup broth of this, the base, I like it a lot, although it does leave you quite thirsty. I don't know how much MSG I put. Wow, this is my first time getting this particular sweet potato noodle. How cool, I've never seen it before. It has less of a chew than the other one though. If you come here, get the grey one. The grey one is the best one. Ah, the tripe baby. Mm -hmm, my favourite. Mm. I love tripe because of the texture, you know? The texture is the good stuff. This is that uh, big piece of meat. There's a little bit of fat to it, and the meat itself as well. 
Mm, look, that is nice. Save the best for last, this is the fish ray boil, and I'm gonna show you why I like it so much. Oh, look at that. Beautiful inside. The little fish ray boils are like slightly crunchy and there's so much flavor, man. I love it. Mm, that was good. Really good chili, a lot of spice in it. The broth was very flavorful. Great recommendation, guys. But now it's time for me to show you my favorite one. All right, so we are at our second stop now, which is Dang Liang Malatang. Chongqing was really, really good, but Zhangliang is still my number one. Let me show you why. Okay, always got to get the Tong Ho. Mushrooms again. You got to get this one when you see it, right? It's like a bean curd. One of these bad boys again. Fish row. Should I try stuff different? I don't know, I'm trying to choose something different. I'm always gravitating towards the same thing again. Hmm. Before. Maybe I'll do this one this time. I like this one. Oh, I got to get the homies, man. The tripes. I'm okay for these ones this time. This one's called green bean noodle and a couple more of the sweet potato noodles which we absolutely love. Okay, got some meat, got some beef, lamb. Let's get pork as well. Oh, here it is. This fried tofu thing, it's really good. This place costs over here, if you have a look, $16 for 500 grams. So it's a little bit cheaper than the chunking actually. But we'll see how much this costs because I feel like I got it a bit heavy, man. <laughs> But the cool part about this place is you can make your own sauce, dude. So they have this whole sauce station just like you do at the, you know, the more premium hot pot restaurants. I'll get some sesame sauce. Have a little bit of this barbecue. Got some chili oil, a little garlic. A little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of vinegar. Of course, you got to get the spring onions on top. And this right here, man. This is what gives it texture and crunch. This, I don't know, what is this, fried peas? First things first, hey yo, this drink though, right? It's like a Wang Lao Ji, Wang Lao Ji herbal drink. <laughs> herbal drink, very good with hot pot and anything spicy, especially like the Sichuan spicy. I'm still buzzing from Chongqing, man. Ah, good, we'll have more of that later. Now, look at this, man. Beautiful. And the broth itself is... Oh, nice, very clean, bro, very clean. Oh, hold up. Oh no, I messed up my chopstick. <laughs> Hold up, I'll be back, I'll be back. That was poor form, bro. Mm. All right, got to mix up this sauce that we made. I think I might have added in a little bit too much, but that's okay. Yeah, look at that, that's nice. Oh, oh I'm hungry, dude. How am I still hungry? Mm. This is a bit different to the sweet potato one. This is the green bean noodle, thicker. It's chewier, almost too chewy, but have a try of it next time if you want. Now, hot pot sauce. We're gonna get a bit of that meat that we put in. Mm. Make your own hot sauce sauce. Uh, hot uh, make your own hot pot sauce, baby. Mm. This soup that you order, the classic one, usually it's like the bone broth. This color that you get is from the breakdown of the bone itself. That's why it has so much flavor in it. This place has a really flavorful broth, but not overly flavorful. When you take a sip, you don't feel thirsty, you know? That was the first thing that hit me. Like, I didn't feel like I was overly thirsty. And that's why I like this soup. All right, look at this big ass big ball, man. Oh, yeah. Mm, this is what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good sauce, man. This is the fried fried tofu. Mmm, that's a really nice thing to add in, actually. What's this? I think this is the spicy pork. Oh, yum. So soft. Marinated meat is really good. I actually prefer the marinated meat here to the, to the frozen beef rolls. Yummy, man. Bean curd skin. Actually, when you have hot pot at home, like the way I was growing up, this used to be a staple. Like, we always used to have this. Ah, look, it's the fish roe ball again. You know what, let's save that for the end. You can see that one later. <laughs> this is another one that I like to use at home when I have hot pot. It's like a fish tofu. Really nice and bouncy, this one. Mm. And as you're eating this malatang here, you can tell it's very clean, man. I really don't feel thirsty at all. That's not a knock against any of the other malatangs. It's just, I feel like, um, maybe it's healthier. <laughs> oh, look at this. Have you guys ever eaten this at Yamcha? I love this tripe. This is beef tripe, also known as honeycomb tripe. When you see this, man, gotta get it, bro. Mm. Out of all the offal that you can possibly get, I love tripe. I'll eat tripe any day of the week, man. I won't get sick of it. I know offal can be a little bit much for some, but tripe is good. This sauce is good. It might look gross on camera, but it's really good. <laughs> 
getting hot, eh? Ooh. I have this core memory of when you're eating um, a hot soup at home in the summer and then the whole family gathers around. Dad and uncle takes off their shirt and then when you're a young boy, you take off your shirt too because you want to be like dad and uncle, you know? I'm afraid I cannot take off my shirt here. Uh, explicit. Last but not least, the fish roe ball. Oh, this one's different. Hmm. I like the, the fish roe ball at Chunking better. This one's a bit more uh, oozy on the inside, whereas the other one's more like solid fish roe. Oh, I'm stuffed, Brian. Why are we still here? Oh. Oh. That's good, man. Actually, both, both ones we tried today were really, really good. Um, I'll have to have a think about which one I like more. Both are really good. I think that's the most mala tongue I've ever eaten. Today, I think it's uh, the last day of school or something because there were a lot of like school kids and they all had their, their school uniform or you know, written and stuff on them. I guess if you're a year 12 student and it's your last day, congratulations to you. It's nice to celebrate with some malatang, am I right? Out of the two malatang that we ate today, the Chungking and the Zhangliang malatang, I think the Chungking, which was you guys' recommendation, very flavorful, man. There's a lot of flavor in that broth. And then the Zhangliang that we ate, it has a little bit less flavor, but it feels cleaner, you know what I mean? I would say the Zhang Liang is probably still my number one because it's still like really good flavor and then it has that sauce that you can get as well and the whole thing is just really nice man but Chungking man it's also really really good definitely two of the best mama tongue that you can get in Sydney thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed the video hit that like button smash that like button actually and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and come on a food adventure every single week appreciate you guys catch you on the next one Today we're in Canleyville, my hometown, and we're gonna go eat a special Vietnamese dish called Bung Rio. You know this place is good when you see the Vietnamese ladies behind us like saying, Oh yeah, hit the subscribe button, thank you.